there's something about a big V6 or V8 petrol engine in an executive car. But the problem is the running costs are just prohibitive. But maybe hybrids are the answer. And that's just what Nissan has done with this Infiniti Q70 saloon. The big seller is going to be the 170 PS 2.2 diesel. Very few people are likely to go for the 320 PS 3.7 litre V6 petrol. But for a certain type of person who wants to stand out from the crowd, the Q70 hybrid does make a lot of sense. It combines a 306 PS V6 3.5 litre petrol engine with a 50 kilowatt electric motor to give a total output of 364 PS. That's a lot of power and it makes this executive saloon capable of reaching 62 miles an hour in just 5.3 seconds and on to a limited top speed of 155 miles an hour. But it's also capable of doing 45 miles to the gallon combined. I was getting 38.40 most of the time and CO2 emissions of 145 grams per kilometre. In urban traffic, the Q70 hybrid will run in electric vehicle mode quite happily with a light throttle. And even on the open road, use a petrol engine to get up to speed. And even at 50, 60, 70 miles an hour, just lift off the throttle and you can gently maintain progress. Put the two together and unleash all 364 horses and it really does take off. The 18 inch wheeled premium model is definitely more cruiser than bruiser. The ride is soft and supple and it just wafts along at speed. In comparison the Sport which rides on 20 inch wheels is going to be firmer and more sensitive to poor surfaces. It's a big car that you're not going to want to throw around corners and while the steering is nice and light in the city it doesn't have a lot of feel at speed. Huge amounts of space in the cabin, loads of legroom in the back for almost limousine levels of ride quality. But then you look in the boot and I've never seen such a small boot for such a large car. The standard boot is 500 litres but it drops down to just 350 with the big hybrid battery pack behind the rear seats. And nor will the rear seat backs fold down with that battery pack. But for all the Infiniti's technology, the cabin has a bit of a dated feel. If you like lots of buttons swooping down the fascia, you'll love this. But compared to rivals which have central controllers, it's all a little bit old fashioned. I was also disappointed that on this car, which costs the best part of £50,000, there's no DAB radio. Tech models gain lane departure warning, radar cruise control, Forest air conditioning where you get irregular breezes coming through the cabin and you can even have a pine scent to it. And you also get the 16 speaker Bose sound system with speakers in the front seat backs. It's like sitting in a concert hall. The Q70 now mirrors the bulbous styling of the smaller Q50 saloon. And if bling is your thing and you like lots of chrome highlights, then the Q70 is certainly going to grab your attention. Don't get me wrong, Infiniti is not a bad brand and the Q70 isn't a bad car. You have to make allowances if you have the hybrid when it comes to boot space, but for the same money you can get some very prestigious rivals. But for those people who are looking to be different and stand out from the crowd, it's the sort of car that will appeal. It's comfortable, it's a long distance cruiser, and in hybrid version, it actually makes some environmental and economical sense.